Welcome back to the Vita Boys, you PlayStation Vita fans out there. It's the Auburn Man, and today I'm talking to you guys about the five mobile games that should be brought over to the PlayStation Vita. You guys probably won't agree 100% with this list, so let us know in the comments below what you think should be brought to the PlayStation Vita. And don't forget to subscribe because you get entered in our weekly game giveaway. But let's get started with number five, which is Dead Trigger. This is a first person zombie shoot 'em up and it's so much fun. Now we don't have many zombie games on the PlayStation Vita except Dead Nation and that's still just a top down shooter. We don't have a first person shooter zombie game and not very many first person shooter games whatsoever. Wouldn't this be so amazing to have on the PlayStation Vita? The only downside is there's no multiplayer. But they could add multiplayer and charge 40 bucks for this game and I certainly would go and pay for it. I don't know how many of you guys would pay $40 for it, but it's certainly worth the upcharge to add multiplayer and bring it over to the PlayStation Vita. So it easily makes our list at number 5. Coming in at number 4 is Goat Simulator. This game originally appeared on the PC and then went over to mobile devices and was so much fun on mobile. Why is it not shown up on the PS Vita yet? I don't know. You play as a goat. It literally is exactly what it sounds like. You simulate a goat, and of course everyone's probably heard of this and I don't know why I'm explaining it, but wouldn't this be amazing on the PlayStation Vita system? I wouldn't necessarily pay 40 bucks for it, or much more than probably $15 for it, but it certainly would be amazing to play on the PlayStation Vita system, and I think they should make the port. It's a simple game to port, and it's so popular that many people would download it, and it's got to be fun on the PlayStation Vita system. So Goat Simulator makes our list at number four. Number three is Aralon Sword and Shadow. I'm not sure how many of you guys have heard of this game, but it certainly should have been heard of. It is basically an Elder Scrolls type game, massive world, open RPG. It's amazing on mobile devices and just imagine how amazing it would be if they graphically enhance it a little bit and bring it over to the PlayStation Vita system. I feel like this game released almost four years ago and it still plays so well. I have put so many hours into this game. There's several different character classes, everything that you could imagine in an RPG is definitely in this game. It would play so well on the PlayStation Vita system and I'm not sure many people could play it and disagree with me. I definitely think this should come over to the PlayStation Vita system and once again it's a fairly simple port. They could definitely make a quick penny off this and it would quench the thirst of those who want some Skyrim action on the PlayStation Vita. Coming in at number 2 is Nova 3, or Nova 2 and Nova 1, I don't know, but Nova would be amazing on the PlayStation Vita system. It's a great first person shooter similar to that of Halo, but it would play well on the PlayStation Vita system. I've never seen a game so graphically advanced on mobile, and imagine how well it would look on that PlayStation Vita OLED screen. I mean, come on, this game would look absolutely amazing. Beyond that, it would play super well, and adding in the multiplayer aspect would quench the thirst of people that, once again, don't have very many first-person shooters on the PlayStation Vita system. This game is better than Call of Duty Black Ops. It's probably like 30 times better than Call of Duty Black Ops, the story and the multiplayer. It would be amazing to see on the PlayStation Vita system, and like the rest of these games, it's a very simple port. So I think number two is easily Nova 3. Coming in at number one, and I hope most of you guys probably agree with us, is Five Nights at Freddy's. But not just Five Nights at Freddy's, how about bundling up one, two, and three and throwing it onto the PlayStation Vita system and selling it for around $30? I certainly would pay for that, I don't know about you guys. The Vita doesn't necessarily have many horror games, and it definitely doesn't have horror games the quality of Five Nights at Freddy's. This game's popularity has shot through the roof somehow, and it's not just somehow, it's because it's a really great game, and it definitely belongs on the PlayStation Vita system. I think many people would easily be willing to pay for this. But, you guys be the judge of that in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of this video. Which games do you think should come from mobile over to the PlayStation Vita system? And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to enter in our weekly game giveaway and see more of our amazing content, of course. But until next time, Vita Boys out. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments below what you thought. We'll see you guys next time with more PlayStation Vita content.